Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about CSS text properties. So whenever you're dealing with texts, you are bound to style them in some way or another. So I'm going to I'm going to grab the H1 using the element selector. If you want to change the color of a text, you just write color and you can write any kind of color that you want. I'm just going to go with coral. Now, if you want to make the text uppercase, like you want to capitalize the all of the letters within a word or within a sentence, what you're going to do is you're going to grab text transform and set it to uppercase. When you save it, it is uppercase. If you set it to text transform lowercase, let's see lowercase, it is going to lowercase it. Everything is lowercase uh, and um, everything is uppercase. And if you want to align your text, for example, from left to center to right, we have text align and center, it is going to bring it to the center. Now I'm going to grab the paragraph and I'm going to provide you the rest of the, uh, there are a lot of them. I'm just going to grab the ones which are necessary. That's why it's called the essentials course. The CSS3 essentials. We're just talking about the essentials. So if I grab text align, I could set it to center. Now it is in the center. Uh, letter spacing is going to provide spaces between your between or among the letters. So I'm going to set it to 0 0.5 pixels. Just it is going to spread out the letters inside a, in, in a word, like spread them out apart. If I set it to two pixels, you're going to see that you can see they're spread it apart. I'm going to set it to one pixel. Uh, let's grab the word spacing. A word spacing, as the name suggests, provides space among the words in a sentence. So I'm going to say five pixels, just spread them apart. And finally, we have text shadow, which is going to provide some shadow. Now we have a horizontal shadow, which is going to appear on the right of the text, on the right part of any word. Then we have a, a vertical shadow, which is going to appear beneath the word. And then we have like a blur radius. Blur is just going to blur out the shadow. So I'm going to say two pixel, a uh, five pixel first, just to show you where the shadow is going to appear. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see it. Blur radius, I'm going to provide it as zero and I'm going to say black. Uh, oops, black. So you can see this is the shadow. It is a solid shadow because we have not blurred it out. You can see it has come down by five pixels and to the right by two pixels. So if I provide it two pixels, this is going to blur it out. There we go. So I know this is extreme just to show you how the shadow works. So I'm going to change this value to two pixels and this one to one pixel. And you're going to end up with a very cool, subtle shadow. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.